Well, Paul, congratulations on your 50th Derby County victory. It felt like an important one. Wow, that's good, isn't it? 50, 50 from what, 60? No, I I'm joking, I'm joking. Someone's going to hate me for that. Uh, no, good. Uh, big win. Uh, we needed it. In fairness, we looked like we had more energy today than we did Wednesday, which is odd considering we played, you know, 72 hours ago. Uh, but the fans must take a lot of credit for that. The place was bouncing. Uh, we didn't start... We started the game OK, um, but... Um, yeah, it, it went well. In fairness, it was good because I, I loved the Bolton losing song. That was good. Whoever started it on his own must have been thinking, "Come on, or her, come on, we need more people to sing it so everyone can hear it." So once about three thousand got involved, it was good. But then I didn't hear a song for a while, so I was a bit traumatized then. So um, yes, yeah, so all in all, really pleased. We 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 are obviously aware because we watched the opposition. We knew if Sonny played, he'd be a threat on set pieces. There, um, that is, uh, every team's got a weakness, but we thought that might be one. So. To score three is great, and obviously uh, Hammy will be my employee of the week. So he'll get nothing apart from my praise and love. So, yeah, really good, and we could have scored more, and I don't really think Joe had a great deal to do, but until you get the third or second or third goal, it feels a bit like edgy, as always. But um, a good win on a nice sunny day in front of a full house, so a really good uh, Saturday for us. Not to give too much credit to your first-team coach, Matt Hampshire, no, but I don't like to, you but... often talk about the importance of set pieces, and we, and we saw it today. Yeah, and it, like no one cares. I mean, I've watched uh, a lot of football, obviously, as we all have, but you know, you, I watched uh, Leeds didn't win at home, Leicester couldn't win at Plymouth last night. The teams at the top, it's difficult. It's difficult to... It's difficult to um, create chances in professional football, it is. So if, if you're not creating it from open play and the opposition worked hard out of possession, obviously, then you can rely on a, a set-piece goal can win you it. So there's absolutely zero shame in that. Um, and I did harp on a bit last season about the fact we didn't, you know, didn't get enough goals from set-pieces. But the lads were good today. Every time the ball went in, they looked a real threat. And uh, yeah, we've won the game today. I thought... Of, well, obviously I would because I'm biased. I thought we were the better side. I thought we deserved to win. But to score off set pieces is good and it just reinforces the message that we're trying to give to the lads all the time. You seem to win the battles in, in the middle of the park as well. Does it all start there with, with that sort of intent and commitment? Yeah, we just looked energetic, didn't we? So I said to the lads at half-time that you look really energetic and relentless. And I asked them to you know go out as warriors today, really, and just really compete. And you know, as we always say to them, look, if the opposition are better than us, that's fair enough. But don't live in regret. You have to win your, your competitions. You have to win your, your scraps, your headers. And I thought, like, the three midfielders were excellent. Like, Tomo's done <laughs> run around the world twice today. He was excellent, apart from that foul he gave. I mean, I can't believe he didn't get a red card for that. Disgusting. But apart from that, uh, yeah, the three midfielders done well. And we, I said to the lads after the game, like, it's... It does sound, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to the game changers because they're, they're amazing players, but it's not very often where, you know, in a game you're thinking, I don't really want to change anything. There was nothing really needed changing. Everyone was performing really well. I thought Sibs at wing-back was excellent again, as was Kane. The three centre-halves were really solid. The midfielders done well, and I thought um, Colo was unstoppable, really, and it's nice for us to have the option of, you know, kicking it long and you win the first and you get the seconds and obviously Nat was a constant threat. So it's nice not feeling like, well, I need to change stuff and we need to change the shape. We need to, uh, it was a really um, comprehensive performance and it enabled us to put the players on later on and, you know, I wish I could put them all on, but not the case. It's been a very good day for you with the results elsewhere as well. Um, it's now back in your hands. How are you coping with the swings in momentum and emotion that happen at this time of the season? Yes, yeah, yeah, well, I've, I mean, obviously, I'm in my 50s, so I've seen it a few times. I just sort of, you just got to roll with it, really. Like, if we'd have lost today and it would have been disappointing, I'd still been, okay, well, the game's over now, there's no point crying about it. Like, just go to the next game. So, it, it does get, it, I'm not saying that I came today like full of beans. I do understand the importance, but as do the lads, and you want them to play knowing the importance, but not too much. And I thought, like I said loads of times at Wickham, I felt like we'd played, like it was too much, we need that goal, we need that goal. So, um, yeah, it, it will obviously take swings. We haven't done anything, we haven't achieved anything, we just got a bit closer to where we want to be. So we, it's nice to have it back in our own hands. You know, obviously Peterborough's result as well is a is a, is a boost. I'm not, that sounds awful to Peterborough. But. So good. So what, what I'll do is tonight or tomorrow, I'll watch Rand's TV and you're talking about it with Bucko because it's not Shawnee Barker, is it? So I'm looking forward to Bucko. And you'll say, I'll show you the league at the end because you always say that. Well, yeah, I like that bit. So I, what I'll do is I'll watch my interview to make sure I haven't sworn. So swear, uh, so my mum doesn't tell me off. And then I'll, you'll go, oh, well, look at the table later on. I'll be like, oh, I can't wait for the table. 
So I won't even look at it before I watch Maybe it. Maybe we'll you. show it at the start just for you. No, you won't though. No, you won't. No. See, why are you lying for? You won't. And you'll edit all this out. And be like, I think I swear I talked. Anyway, so good day. Good day to be a Ram. Brilliant. Put us in a really good place. Two games left. But it's all it's done is put us in a really good place. We've still got to, you know, um, win two games. And um, the lads are in good place. No one got injured, which I've said never. Uh, so that's really good. And no one got sent off, which is good. Although Tomo probably deserved to. <laughs>